Good morning. Um, the hymn is number 371. 371. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, open our lips. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. How wonderful is God among his saints. Come, let us adore him. Come, bring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks with songs that us hail the Lord. How wonderful is God among his saints. Come, let us adore him. Mighty God of the Lord, the great King above all gods, in his hands are the depths of the earth, the height of the mountains of the hills, to whom belong the seas of the Navy, and the dry land shaped by his hands. How wonderful is God, God among his saints. saints. Come, come, let us adore him. Come in, let us bow and bend low, and us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. How wonderful, How wonderful is God is among the saints. Come, come, let us adore him. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your heart, O Satmeriba, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. How wonderful is God among his saints. Come, let us adore him. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. How wonderful, How wonderful is God among the saints. Come, Come let us adore him. Glory be to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. How wonderful is God among his saints. Come, Come let us adore him. Hymn 371. For all the saints who from their labours rest, who thee thy faith before the world confess, thy name, O Jesus, be for ever blessed. Alleluia. Thou wast their rock, their fortress, and their might. Thou, Lord, their captain in the well fought fight. Thou in the darkness drear the one true light. Alleluia. O oh, may thy soldiers, faithful, true, and bold, fight, fight as the saints who nobly fought of old, and win with them the victor's crown of gold. Alleluia. O oh, blessed the communion, fellowship, fellowship divine, we feebly struggle, they in glory shine, yet all in one in thee, for all are thine. Alleluia. O oh, when the strife is fierce, the warfare long, Seals on the ear the distant final song, and hearts, and hearts are brave, brave again, and arms are strong. Alleluia. The golden, the golden evening brightens in the west. Soon, soon, soon to faithful warriors come at rest. Sweet is the calm of paradise, the blessed. Alleluia. But lo, lo there breaks a yet more glorious, glorious day. The saints triumphant rise in bright array. The King, the King of, of glory passes, passes on his way. Alleluia. From its white arms, from ocean's first coast, through gates of pearl stream in the countless coast, singing, singing to Father, Son, Son and, and Holy Ghost. Alleluia. The saints will dwell in the kingdom of heaven. Their peace will last forever. forever. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry, weary land with wild water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I lift up my hands. 
My soul shall be filled with a banquet, my mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, and you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The, the saints, saints who dwell, dwell in the kingdom, kingdom of heaven, heaven their, their peace will last forever. forever. You saints of the Lord, O oh, bless, oh, bless the, the Lord, Lord forever. forever. O oh, all you works of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you angels of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, the heavens of the Lord, O bless the Lord, and you, clouds of the sky, O bless the Lord, and you, all armies of the Lord, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, sun and moon, O bless the Lord, and you, the stars of the heavens, O bless the Lord, and you, showers and rain, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, all you heavens and winds, O bless the Lord, and you fire and heat to bless the Lord, and you call and heat to bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you showers and dew, O bless the Lord, and you frost and cold, O bless the Lord, and you frost and snow, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you night time and day, O bless the Lord, and you darkness and light, O bless the Lord, and you lightning and clouds, O oh, bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. O oh, let the earth bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you mountains and hills, O oh, bless the Lord, and you all plants of the earth, O oh, bless the Lord, and you fountains and springs, O oh, bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you rivers and seas, O oh, bless the Lord, and you creatures of the sea, O oh, bless the Lord, and you, every bird in the sky, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, wild beasts and tame, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, children of men, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. O oh, Israel, bless the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, priests of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, servants of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you spirits and souls of the just, O oh, bless the Lord. And you holy and humble of heart, O oh, bless the Lord. Ananias, Lazarus, Misael, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. Let us praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. To you be highest glory and praise forever. May you be blessed, O Lord, in the heavens. To you be highest glory and praise forever. You, you saints, saints of the, of the Lord, Lord oh, bless, bless the Lord, the Lord forever. forever. He is the praise of all his saints, of, of the sons, sons of Israel, of the, of the people, people to whom he comes Christ. close. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Like Zion's sons, exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing, and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people, he crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations, and punishment to, on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentences preordained. This honour is for all his faithful. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. He is the praise of all the saints, of the sons of Israel, of the people to whom he comes close. A reading from the letter to the Ephesians. May the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and perception of what is revealed. 
to bring you to full knowledge of him. May he enlighten the eyes of your mind so that you can see what hope his call holds for you, what rich glories he has promised the saints will inherit. Rejoice in the Lord, let the just shout for joy. Rejoice, Rejoice in the Lord, Lord let the just shout for joy. Let the upright sing praise. Rejoice in the Lord, and let the just shout for joy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice in the Lord, and let the just shout for joy. The just will shine out clear as the sun in their Father's kingdom. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David's servant. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those who are his prophets from of old. A Saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who would, would hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham, our father, to grant us, that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we might serve in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you should be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, true forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, to visit us like by the dawn of our eye. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The just will shine out clear as the sun in your Father's kingdom. Alleluia. We are planted in love and built on love. With all the saints, you are given the power to grasp the breath and the length the height and the depth of Christ's love, which is beyond all telling. Let us pray, therefore, Father, Father be, be with, with your people. O God, source of all holiness, the glory of your gift shines out in all your saints. We glorify you for the riches of your grace revealed in them. Father, Father be, be with, with your people. people. Father, you have moved the saints to offer their lives to you and have shown us in them the face of your Son. Move us to follow in their steps, to journey in hope towards the Lord of life. Father, Father be with your Lord. people. We venerate today with great devotion the saints in heaven. We pray for the unity and peace of your holy people on earth. Father, be with your people. Father, through the sacrifice of your, your incarnate Son, you have bound yourself forever to mankind. As we celebrate this feast, we pray that we may be numbered among the saints who see your face. Father, be with your people. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. I will, I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, we are celebrating with joy the triumph of your grace in all the saints. With so vast a multitude praying for us, May we receive from you the fullness of mercy we have always desired. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safely today and all the days of our life. Amen. And let us say the prayer for peace. Eternal Father, we thank, thank you for every, every priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation, salvation of his brothers and sisters. We give thanks to those priests who have brought us your word of truth 
the grace of the sacraments and above all the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the apostles to follow him, we ask you to raise up new and general vocations to the priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of the new generation to your call and enable them not to be afraid, but to recognize the joy of giving the whole of their lives and love through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Nice to see you again after a long holiday. And the people at the back using the red book. Everything is on page 194. So 194. We follow from there. And dear boys and girls, we are celebrating an important feast in the church today, known as the Feast of All Saints. The saints are the people who used to live in this world like you and me, and when their life came to an end, God took them to heaven. I will explain that in more detail during the Mass. We will recite the Gloria and the Creed. Let us stand. So the Mass has been offered for all the children preparing for their first Holy Communion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most serious fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the memory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, Bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please sit down. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw another angel rising where the sun rises, carrying the seal of the living God. He called in a powerful voice to the four angels whose duty was to devastate land and sea. Wait before you do any damage on land or at sea or to the trees until we have put the seal on the forehead of the servants of our God. Then I heard how many were sealed, 144,000 out of all the tribes of Israel. After that, I saw a huge number, impossible to count, of people from every nation, race, 
tribe and language. They were standing in front of a throne and in front of a lamb, dressed in white robes and holding palms in their hands. They shouted aloud, Victory to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels who were standing in a circle round the throne, surrounding the elders and the four animals, prostrated themselves before the throne and touched the ground with their foreheads, worshipping God with these words. Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honour and power and strength to our God for ever and ever. Amen. One of the elders then spoke and asked me, Do you know who these people are, dressed in white robes, and where they have come from? I answered him, You can tell me, my Lord. Then he said, These are the people who have been through the great persecution, and they have washed their robes white again in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Such, Such are, are the men, men who seek your, your face, O Lord. Lord. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Such, Such are the men who seek your face, your face O Lord. Lord. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things. Such, Such are the men, men who seek your face, O Lord. O Lord. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. Such, Such are the men, are the men who seek, seek your, face, your face, O Lord. O Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Think of the love that the Father has lavished on us by letting us to be called God's children. And that is what we are. Because the world refused to acknowledge him, therefore it does not acknowledge us. My dear people, we are already the children of God. But what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he really is. Surely everyone who entertains this hope must purify himself, must try to be as pure as Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. And I will give you rest, says the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up the hill. There he sat down and was joined by his disciples. Then he began to speak. This is what he taught them. How happy are the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle, they shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn, they shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right, they shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful, they shall have mercy shown them. Happy the pure in heart, they shall see God. Happy the peacemakers, they shall be called sons of God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. 
Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Please, you, Lord Jesus Please sit down. <laughs> Dear boys and girls, today's feast is known as all saints day or the feast of all the saints you know your parents don't you good and your grandparents as well as those members of your family who sacrifice their own comfort and resources in order that you might learn the Catholic faith and become good Christians, yes. There are teachers in your school who teach you about Jesus Christ, about the sacraments of Holy Communion, and about the life of God which we receive in Mass and Holy Communion. These people that you know your family, your friends, they support us in our choices, help us to know what to do and what not to do. They help us to be good boys and girls, good people. You have the priests like me, Father Roger, other priests, those of you from Wallace and Grisby and other places, who teach you to pray like you are doing here today. And there are people down the street in Upton who work in the chippy shop. Have you been to the chippy shop? I too have been there. And the restaurants, Cory Macau and the other one, what's the name now? Um, Many have forgotten that. And uh, you've been to Bake My Day. Where do you do the cake? Bake My Day. Where do you do the cake? Down this way. Eh? Yes. Bake My Day. I'm sure your parents have got you cakes from there. And have you been to the hairdressers? Yeah. I don't have much left, but they chopped it all there. That's the style I wanted so that in the morning I don't have to do all that, just use soap and wash it and go. So, um, these people care, they look after us, okay? They care for us, they help us in different ways. Now listen, the saints whose feast day we celebrate today are in heaven because they did the kind of things which all these people we have mentioned, they do for you and me. When they were on earth, they did the same normal things. You know, the saints were in heaven. They did that when they were here. After they died, God brought them, took them to heaven and welcomed them and said, well done, my good people. come and have the reward, you know, for being so kind, for being so good to people while you were here. The saints in heaven came from all the countries of the world, not just from England, they came from all over, Asia, China, America, Africa, you know, from all over, there are good people there doing good work, like you see people here doing in Upton and in England, you see. They are there from all the nations of the world. Now, we should all try to imitate the saints, try to be good people, try to live as God wants us to live. Now, how, how can we do that? How can we do this? Number one, we should try to forgive others when they hurt us. 
Yeah? We all do mistakes. We do hurt other people. We should learn to say sorry, you know, when we hurt other people. Junior brother or senior parents, when we make mistakes and they say, hey, you say I'm sorry, you know? The saints were that kind of people. They knew how to forgive and to say sorry. And number two, we should not hold a grudge against people. Keep, cheer up, smile, be nice to one another. That's what the saints did. Number three, we should not cling to prejudice, wrong ideas about people because they come from a different race. It's a common thing in our society, it's not good. Prejudice, it's a big word. The senior class will understand prejudice, you know. You don't like somebody because he comes from a different country or is uh, from a different family, no. Respect everybody, that's what the saints did when they were on earth. Holiness means that we do not play mind games with those around us, particularly with members of the family, especially mom and dad. Be honest, tell the truth to them. Don't start lying left, right, and center. So, tell the truth. On this big day today, all of us are here, and we will pray. I'm going to read some prayers after this. We will ask the saints to help us as we are still here, you know, that we try to love one another and serve one another, whether it's in the chippy shop or in the garage or some of you will be teachers, you know. Whatever job we have to do in the world, that we'll do it well. And we too, we too will become saints, you know, when our life, when we leave this world. So, have you understood me? Have you understood? Yes, I like that. Yes, very good. So now we are going to recite the, 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 the creed, the I believe, and after that I will read some prayers, and then we'll have the offer tree, and we'll carry on. Is that right? Very good. Yes. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit who was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and a life of the world to come. Amen. We pray for the Holy Father Pope Francis, our bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may promote holiness and justice among the people of God. Lord, hear us. Lord, praise for the leaders of the world, that they work together for the good of all persons. Lord, hear us. Lord, praise for our church and parish community, 
that we would model our lives after the holy men and women of God, becoming more like Christ in all our ways. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. In thanksgiving for the saints of God and for the love and mercy they have shown to the world, Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way. May they be comforted with the love of Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. For those who have died, that the light of Christ would shine upon them. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. We now pray for our own needs, which we now recall in the silence of our hearts. Let us ask our mother Mary to intercede for us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now. Amen. We make all this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please sit down. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us.